I don't think it's intestines, my man. It's stomach. But the intestines are... It's a mix. So tasty. Nice and chewy. Welcome to Nairobi, Kenya. This country, located in East Africa, is a nation of contrast. In its cities, you'll find modern homes, businesses, and buildings. But further north, you'll find Maasai land, where tribes still live as they did hundreds and thousands of years ago. Even within Nairobi are stark differences that show the disparity of wealth among the Kenyan people. The city's Kibera slum is among the poorest neighborhoods in the country, but the city center is modern and cosmopolitan. And that's what you call a Japati factory. In this video, we explore Nairobi's more modern areas with a street food breakfast and a tour of the city. Come with me and let's go explore. Jambo from beautiful Nairobi, Kenya. Today is a crazy unexpected day. Our flight was canceled to Mombasa. We have a later flight, so we came back to downtown Nairobi to have some street food here on Slip Road. So as you can see, many different little restaurants. This one over here. Hey, my friend, how you doing? They're serving some good food. How are you? Very, very good. So what do we have here today? We have cabbage mixed with carrots and we have beans that are mixed with tomatoes plus onions. Mix of beans with, uh, with tomatoes and onions, okay. So we have cabbage, that. Then we have chai next to it, right? That's chai. We have chai and we have intestines. Oh, intestines. Intestines we have just, just boiled. And this is beef. So this is beef right here. Look at this, guys. Right here. Mm. Like, I really can't wait to eat this one. It's like a mix of beef. Tomatoes, look at this, look at this, beautiful. It smells so good. All right, so right here he's serving a plate with chapati, uh, cabbage, he threw some beans in there, nice chunky beans with some gravy. Okay, so they're serving some customers and what they did is they cut the chapati in lots of pieces, then they added the beans, the cabbage, and a lot of that gravy. Looks really, really nice. Chapati's like soaking in gravy. It's gonna be good. And we also have some beef in there, right? Some beef and some intestines. Mmm. Oh, he's adding some salt. They take to meat here. They add the cabbage? Yes, please. You want cabbage? Yes, sir. Cabbage. Right here we have ugali, guys. Made from maize. Look at those beans, guys. Mm -hmm. Let me take a bite of the matumbo. Ah, yes. Look at that. Here we go. Here we go. So, what do we have here, Obed? Okay, here we having um, this basically it's a curry dish. Mm -hmm. We have uh, cabbage with intestines, mm -hmm. beef intestines, curry, beans, and this is ugali. Of course, we have this uh, beef curry. Mm -hmm. Everything is served in a like in accompaniment of this main dish, dish which is ugali. Yeah. Now we eat by, of course, by the natural folks. Mm -hmm. We go like this. We go like this. So like that, you nice grab it. Ball. Nice ball, right? Yes. Then you can go here. Uh huh. So I'm gonna go straight into the intestines. Yeah, 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 Ooh, it's nice and hot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at that intestines, guys. You go with beans. Yeah. You going with beans? I like my organ, so. Yeah. Let's go. Wow. Ready. Mm. Mm -hmm. Super tasty. What about me? Next. Here. Or you go here. So, so always like that, right? You have a yeah, balanced, balanced meal, yeah? And then always do this, right? Yeah, yeah. So definitely wash your hands before this. So you grab some of that beautiful beef. So this is almost like a, a beef roast, right? Exactly. Mm. So tasty that, and intestines. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Mm-hmm. It's good. Mild. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So next, you come here. Next there. Mm -hmm. It's a nice ball, right? Mm-hmm. Staple. Ugali. So you go straight into there. Soak it up, right? I love it. They're all watching me like, look at this white man. <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay. Nice. I'm really excited for this one. Exactly. I've never so, seen this one. That's the fourth step. You come here. So it's we get some mixed, chapati. Like, mixed sauce already mixed and chapati. So they cut, mm -hmm. they just take a chapati, they cut into, into pieces, mm -hmm. and then they yeah. bend it in the sauces, like either beans or meat sauce. Soft, yeah? Oh. This is the best one. Mm. 
so rich, right? So oily chapati, cut into small pieces. Just drench that, that gravy on top. Some beans in there as well. Oh, this is so delicious. Mm -hmm. Then after touching everywhere, you restart here. Start again? <laughs> oh, did I finish this plate? This plate's phenomenal. Oh, luckily everybody got a, bite, uh, a plate of this, right? Mm. I don't think it's intestines, my man. This is stomach. It's stomach? It's stomach. But they're intestines. They're... It's a mix. So tasty. Nice and chewy. So what I think I'm going to do now is just get, you know, my favorite, right? Right here. And then coming straight in here. Drown it. Get some of the cabbage. Just like that, right? So good, guys. Mm -hmm. Love this food. You eat this, you are away, away from malnutrition. Away. Mm -hmm. Even your kids will be strong. Yeah, this is all organic. <laughs> I mean, obviously, this is like killed today, right? But to be honest with you, this is my favorite of the day. Yes. Right? We haven't had this dish. This is the only thing we haven't tried. Of course, we haven't tried the intestines with the stomach, but. Yeah, as, as we say, this is mostly like influenced by the Indian mm -hmm. cuisine. But of course, of course, African will try to be creative every day, you know? Every day. They will make with the intestines. These are the things you cannot maybe find in Not everywhere, in a right? restaurant, you know? Yeah. But then, they will, tomorrow they can mix with something else. They will bring the soup in the cups mm -hmm. and you drink as if you're drinking coffee. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, we had a little bit of that in the market yesterday. Exactly. Like, the, basically the gravy mm -hmm. of the fat of the beef mm -hmm. in a cup. The best thing ever. It will cure a hangover. For mm -hmm. sure, right? It does. Mm -hmm. Nice surprise. Slip road, guys. Slip road. So we have a, a new co-star. Her name is Sylvia from Barcelona. De Barcelona. ¿Qué tal? Experienciando sí. la comida callejera de África, ¿no? Sí, sí. A ver qué tal. Yeah. You came to Africa to do English speaking content and you still do Spanish speaking content. What's happening? Está <laughs> bueno. <laughs> All of these seven dishes different type of, of food plus this mineral water it's eight point five dollars yeah basically the food for four people and, and the extra yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah we didn't even finish the food i love that we're here like on the side of a cave right it's amazing <laughs> so this is slip road again slip road after this we're walking over to the craft and right here yeah. my man's taking us to the to the craft right yeah See. The man. you're gonna do some craft for us you're gonna carve some wood yeah, it's on the, uh, my artist so we walk over there to Chapati? Let's go, let's go. Let's go. All right, here we have some guys making Chapati. I want to show you this because this is where they make Chapati for the entire slip road, right? Hello, hello. Jumbo, Jumbo. Jumbo. Mm. Oh, butter this time, huh? Nice butter. <laughs> So this gentleman is doing it a little differently, right? So he's adding chapati over chapati over chapati, but then he's adding butter. Usually they do oil, he's doing butter. So I guess it makes it a little fattier, right? Mmm, looks so good though. This is why it's good, no? The, the butter. Everybody's like, what's happening here? What's happening? And that's what you call a chapati factory, right? Chapati factory. All right, all right. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you, thank you. Asante, asante, asante. That's it. I'll tell you, that was one of the best chapatis I had. The one with soaking in a tomato gravy. So delicious. And this is Slip Road, right? Obviously, I'm on the backside. A few tables back here. Great spot. Quick street food. Very nice. So I spent like uh, eight US dollars. One thousand. One thousand, not bad. Now we are in the middle Moya of Nairobi Avenue. in uh, like the famous Moya Ab Avenue. It's a business center. We have hotels, we have malls, we have uh, shops. But if you go just behind there, that's you go to the deep into the central of the town, yeah. So, but this is actually known as the most uh, famous street, Moy Avenue in Nairobi. This is real downtown. It actually reminds me of Johannesburg, man. Yeah. It reminds me of Johannesburg downtown. Yeah, man. Yeah, exactly the same. Exactly the same. Wow. What do you think? Good? I mean, it's crazy, you know. Like, it's so interesting, you know, because every different like neighborhood is so different, but like lively at the same time, you know. You good? <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying a lot. It's awesome. Awesome. Really different. Let's go. Whoa, this is like a secret market, huh? It's like a secret market. Where is this place? Oh, look at all the masks. Look at all the masks. This is a place where you do 
our subs like carvings, batiks, and all African subs. We also have the Maasai uh, clothes. We also have Maasai blanket up here. This is like the little uh, Maasai blanket. So we normally just make it like this design. We do like this, the Maasai design. Amazing. And we do like the Maasai dances. Yeah. Let me show you. Wait, wait. Show me, show me. Let me show. Wait, don't take me fast. Like this. Hey, what is this? This is the cavity. Of course. For hunting? Yeah. He was an artist himself. He designed this. Me, I make this. You made that? Beautiful. Man. You make like these beautiful plates. They also have these stone carvings like rhinos, lions. They have ebony wood. I think this is the best one. This, this right here. Incredible hippo. And then they also have all the you know, the blanket for the Masamara, or this is like part of their gown. Yes. The masks are awesome. So, do the Masamara do these, or who makes no, these masks? The make these. You guys make these masks. People who live in the village, we make, we are different artists here. Like these rungu, these are, these are not like the one you see, these are, these are, these are for chiefs. You want to, maybe to honor somebody, it's much different to this one too. Yeah? These two rungus are different. Amazing. Mm -hmm. The different bank, this one I make myself. Yeah. Yes, small, uh, different background. So you did all this? Me, I do. You do the uh, art? At Biashara State. Well, actually, we have craft market and all the African archives. And actually, the price you get here actually is for African prices because we don't like to give Mzungu's price. Welcome. <laughs> so Tyson right here just sold me this beautiful mask. This is an antique, right? Beautiful. So how old is this? Oh, well, we can't tell because... You can't was, tell, huh? From 50s and 90s, before Pacto da Gama came in Africa. Yeah, so they started at 350 Obviously, I negotiated a good, a good deal. Uh, I love all the stuff they have here. Very, very beautiful a place you should definitely visit. If you're in Nairobi, uh, you know, from my understanding in the Masai Mara, in the National Park, you don't really have places like this. Oh, and you know what? Like, they have beautiful small dresses like this. So if you want something like this for your kids, right? My daughters would love this. What's the price on this? Well, like, uh, 1200 1200 so we're at 10 US? 10 bucks. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Okay, I take this one and this one, but I get a deal. Give me a deal. A deal. Come on. We're negotiating here. What is it called? No, no Zumbu price? Is that what you say? Mazungu. The best is 1,100. That's the best? Yeah, the best. $90. Okay, we take it. We take it. So this one and these two for my kids, okay? Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you so much. The best gift ever. Yeah, that's what I wanted to get them. Something they could wear, you know? And it's cool because it's different colors. I mean, I'll tell you, this, one of my favorite things of this place, uh, I don't really need it. That's why I'm not buying it. I think it's another, like, probably a hundred or more, right? This one, look at this. This is ebony wood, right? It felt like stone, but it's ebony. It's gorgeous. Nice hippo. But if you don't need it, don't buy it, of course, you know? I need this. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to walk outside and hopefully we find some more street food. And if not, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So my, my friend here, he does this himself, right? So these are small little plates, right? And this one is, yeah? the, is the limestone, you know? Oh, it's limestone. Wow, so it's a limestone dish. Oh, wow, incredible. And now I cut into pieces according mm -hmm. to the size I want. Okay. Then I do the engraving. Okay. Then after engraving, I make it soft with salt paper and then I put the background you can see the background after that I put some oil uh, so that it can shine and sure. then I put the picture and then I use a very sharp object yeah yeah uh, you see so I do it slowly 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 until it is complete like this uh, I do it in different sizes yeah so he has different sizes different animals different colors very, very beautiful. Next time I come back to Nairobi, I go to your house to see you make it. So what do I use this for, for like, for, for peanuts? Peanuts. I, I was thinking more like sipping sake or something, for right? For what? Maybe it's, a, it's purpose. I got my stuff. This is the one thing I always buy on trips, right? Also buy this big, myself. Also we have the big five. Elephant, you have leopard, uh, rhino, lion, and buffalo. This is the most dangerous animal in the wild, by the way. Karish, Karish, and my name is David, also known as Benzema. Yeah, Tyson is around. All right, Tyson. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I love the mask, I love the mask. But I like the antique more. Thank you. Have you seen here? 
Right here we have a book vendor selling like old novels, right? Nice, old books. Hello, hello. Buying a book? Uh, should I buy a book? Maybe. But like now I'm into audio books, you know, because traveling I cannot like carry the books. But like, yeah, this is cool though, you know, like street vendors, by the street, you know, selling books, selling a bunch of stuff. It's very lively, this street. Pineapples. How much? 20? Okay. You want, you want some? What do you want? I would drink one. Yeah? But three, each one is big, right? Oh no, it's cutting four. It's cutting four. Okay, yeah, yeah, so three. This is the best. Yeah, yeah, this is the best, right? I love it. Okay. So sour. Iko sour. Iko sour. Yeah, Nichua, Nichua. Brownish because of the sun. It's very sweet. It's sun heat, but it's really nice. Oh, I, I saved it. You, you saved it. Here we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is the best. It's the best. Metal. It's so good. Anywhere you see cheaper vendors selling pineapple, eat it. Mm -hmm. So juicy. It was amazing. How many hours a day do you walk around the shelf? Eight. Eight, eight hours? Eight, eight hours. 10 to 4, and you sell us. Yummy! It's amazing, right? Here's next level. What is the name of your company? You don't, you don't care, you just need customers coming. Thank you so much. That was such a delicious pineapple. Okay, okay, okay. So how much is it? How much do we owe you? 80? All right, so here's 100. Keep the change. Okay, thank you. So no problem, no problem. This was fantastic, guys. The best pineapples in the world are these small pineapples. I thought the big ones were good. These are the best. So delicious. The Kenyan pineapple. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you guys didn't know, in Kenya, you can't smoke on the street, so they have these smoking zones in downtown. So if you get caught smoking, it's a big fine. How, how much do you pay if you get, if you get caught smoking? Well, the fine? Yeah, what's the fine? 5,000 Kenyan shillings, which is equals approximately, it would be like $50. Cool. As a fine if you just go out and smoke. So we're on the 27th floor of the Kenyatta International Convention Center. And then from here, we're walking up a little bit. I love this view, guys. I love the view. Epic. I'm a big fan of going to the top of observation decks. Definitely gotta do it wherever you go, that there is one, right? Every city I've been to, where there's one like Tokyo, Berlin, even Miami we have it now, right? Yeah, the view of the city, you got parliament over there. I mean, just beautiful. Here, you can really tell how big this city is. Just huge. Only 3 million people, but the downtown area is just massive. What do you think, Tassos? Look at this. We have the best view in Nairobi, possibly in Kenya. Alright guys, we have no time. We have to fly to the plane. Let's go. Mombasa, here we come. Yeah, we have to like literally run now. Alright, let's get in the car. Yeah, 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 good. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, va bene. Va bene, ci vediamo. Alright, let's go my friend. Airport. Yeah. Okay. So long story very short, this morning we had a flight with Kenyan Airways at 8 in the morning to fly to Mombasa and unfortunately the flight was cancelled because the pilots were on strike so we had to figure out something, they moved us onto Jumbo, uh, Jumbo Airlines uh, 345 flight so that's why we had to go back to the city, now right at the airport, get on the flight, straight to Mombasa. Santa Sana! Santa Sana! Alright guys, let's go back and check in again. VIP, VIP VIP, right? And that's it guys, we had an incredible street food tour in downtown Nairobi. And now we're done, we're off to Mombasa, I'm super pumped, let's go eat more food. If you love this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. Let's go, España! Vamos, vamos, vamos! Let's go, let's go! Jambo, not Kenya! <laughs> dame, dame. Finally, Mombasa.